All right. Here it is. The moment you've probably been waiting for. You want to know what's going on down there, right? Well, it's a combination of a size 15 shoe, <laughs> a Yamaha FP9, and a whole bunch of experiences that I'm actually going to try my best to tighten up and deliver to you to help you with your kick pedal. Now, in that example, I was doing a series of double strokes, some triple strokes, some of them were triplet 16th, some were even like 32nd, there was a whole bunch of craziness, I'll admit. But I'm gonna give you a couple of them, okay? So, I like to do my double strokes heel up. However, some people like to do them heel down, which is possible, which kind of looks like this. For me, my heel up strokes look like this. Here's another way I do my double strokes heel up. Now the key to the two different sounds you heard for the type of heel up double strokes that I do, one is where I'm staying in the same spot and that first note before the primary note, that first note's quieter, the second note's louder. What I do to solve that if that's not the sound I want is I actually shift the first skip note, if you want to call it, to the center of the footboard. That way it actually brings out the volume of the footboard because of my placement. And it adds more volume in terms of girth and I'm kind of using the way the pedal works. And why not just show you? At home, or wherever you are, it might look like I'm sliding, but what I'm actually doing is I'm tapping the footboard, like this. If I slide, I will get an effect, but I won't have the precision that I want. I'm gonna try to slide and see what happens. So it's not impossible, but I like to be a little more accurate. I like to make sure my notes are clear and clean and that I'm placing them where I want them to be. Here it is again. Now to break down that motion that I'm actually doing on the footboard, as far as tapping, I will just tap the footboard for you to see. Now, if this is your first time exploring the world below on the foot pedal, it'll take you some time. I'm gonna give you a couple of grooves though that you can actually do that'll help you hear the exercise and the way that you can work your foot out in a musical way. All of these examples are going to be eighth notes on the hi-hat and two and four backbeat on the snare. When practicing this, you might wanna start a little slow so you can understand the motion. You might even wanna try and tap it out on the floor wherever you are. Just don't annoy your neighbors. And of course, it wouldn't hurt to work with a metronome.
So on my journey and my path, the road to speed, accuracy, and power on the kick drum was not built in a day. You got to be patient with yourself. You got to take your time and relax. Eventually, you will find your way. You might even find a completely different way of making all of this happen. But my technique is yours for you to check out. Have fun with it, and I'll talk to you next time.